and hello people real quick one today uh something slightly different we're doing a recovery um i've just bought this car and it's a non-runner so we're taking this back to the new garage and we're gonna do a video on getting it started um i'm gonna be towing it with an a-frame which you can see there these are brilliant i've used this a few times um it allows you to tow by yourself um, I'll show you how it's set up. Obviously it attaches to the tow hitch. Um, you've got some two ratchet straps with, where are they? These straps that hook into the chain, that connect the chain up to the ratchet strap and you can then pull that metal bar on the end, on each end, I'll show you, up against the front of the wishbone. And these chains go over the wishbone and then get pulled tight by those ratchet straps, which I'll demonstrate shortly. I can't film while I'm doing this, obviously, because um, it's raining and, um, yeah, it could take some time for me, because sometimes, if it's not wide enough, you have to adjust it here, and it's not gonna be very interesting to watch me just doing that. So I will get it all connected, set up. I'll show you what I mean by a wishbone, if you're all in the rain. So if you see under there, that's the wishbone, that bar at the bottom. That one there, that's what we're going to be hooking around and against, so I'll get it set up now. And there you go, that's all connected. These ratchet straps are, I want to get a wet knee now. What a beautiful day here in sunny United Kingdom. So yeah, you can see the chain goes through there. You have to have at least two links coming out, which I've got there. Then, nice tight ratchet strap, and look how... Neat, I've looped those, but absolutely beautiful. So it should have been a lorry driver, really, shouldn't it? But um, there you go, 2.6 ton, British made. Yeah, right, it's definitely not British made. Oh, that's loose. Yeah, good, I checked that. Need to tighten that up before we go. Um, but no, great frame. Um, it's definitely a UK supplier, but I'm assuming it's imported from China. But yeah, they work great. Um, little trick, I have to jack up the hitch so that when I reverse with the van it clears the bumper give it another little pump and we will get it backed up and connected once it's connected I'll carry on filming show you what it looks like and then we will uh, start towing back shortly and this is what I use f as lights these are great wireless signal lights, stop lamps, etc. Magnetic, go straight to the back of the car. You've got an L and an R. This one's an R, right one, left. Um, you turn them on simultaneously and they should sync. Um, it, they usually do, it's once or twice they, they've uh, refused to, but um, now I've used these several times and they are great. So I'm gonna get this, this obviously goes in your um, socket in the back and uh, yeah, seven pin socket. And that's so when you press the brake, this sends a signal to these and tells them to, to brake, um, as long as you know, along with indicators and things like that. So, um, so yeah, we'll get these put on and then um, we're ready to go. And there we go, pretty cool. All right, let's get going. Don't you just hate it when people drive right up your backside? This guy's been following me for about the last half an hour, hour. Just realised the back left tyre is flat. We just pumped that up before we took it. As you can see, I turn the corner and the car follows. And there we go. That's how you tow with an A-frame. Uh, nice and easy, no hiccups on the way, it definitely, this strap definitely didn't come off on the way here and the car nearly going a hedge on the left hand side and we have to try and get it back on the back of the vehicle, uh, on the side of the road, in the rain. Um, that didn't happen, uh, it was completely hassle free the whole way back, um, everything went smoothly and I wasn't worried at all. So yeah, these are absolutely fantastic and uh, as long as you make sure that you do these up tight and you always check them, uh, check them every, I don't know, like five, ten minutes or if you feel or hear any funny noises. Um, I unfortunately 
got the warning, I heard this scraping on the wheel twice and then this actually was loose and, it, and the bar slipped from underneath and the vehicle was over to one side. Luckily this one was still on, so we still had control of the vehicle, but um, yeah, a bit hairy for one moment there. Um, anyway, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.